yes and also we learned how to um, use the frame maker option so uh, in this session <clears throat> we will uh, proceed from the please mute yourself right thank you so uh, in this session uh, we will follow the syllabus that means that uh, we will learn about section design then we will uh, talk about crossings reports and also uh, we will uh, see a little bit uh, how to work with beam so this is the the syllabus for today so uh, i will uh, i just before okay before before i'll start uh, i just want to in to inform you that the uh, recording of the last session is on the, on the our website we also uh, send it to you and you can also find it in the uh, chat run sent it right now so you can find it uh, on our web website so uh, please get into it uh, and uh, uh, subscribe to our channel in youtube and practice uh, this uh, what I'm doing in this session. So I will share my screen. Okay, so civil CAD is here, ZW CAD, and I will open the project that we worked on, which was this one. So let's remind you a little bit what do we have here. We got here the coordinate list at the bottom of the screen. We learned how to uh, how to edit points and how to load them here to the list to the uh, to this uh, screen this window. Also, we can close it to gain some place in the drawing environment. And what do we have here? The, the green uh, points are the, uh, the the coordinates, of course. We designed the contours line. So we have it here on gray. We, I think we turned off some uh, layers. So let's turn it on. Okay. Great. So what do we have here? Yes. Uh, this is the water shade we designed. Also, we have the triangulation over here. Let's remove the triangulation and put the intervals of 25 centimeters. Great. So here we have points, the contours lines. Okay, let's close it. And also we have some pipes that we designed over here. So I will turn off contours and the points. Okay. So here we have the pipes. I remind you that we had one main pipe, also two that uh, uh, secondary pipes that uh, connect to the main one. Okay, we moved the manholes from here. We told you that this one is not necessary anymore. We just used it to as a sketch okay and also we had a water supply line over here this is a pipe of water supply okay so we get to a pipeline list we created the four pipes 
Then we went to layout. We select the uh, polyline, press enter, and we got it. The manholes, the coordinates of the manholes. We got the station, the uh, pipe diameter we insert here, and we pressed apply. Okay. Then we got them on the screen. Here I can also uh, add the my manhole diameter. Okay, manhole diameter over here. We have also an automatic tool to design the a manhole diameter according to the depth. I will show you uh, right now. So let's close it and move to to section part. So when I will. Uh, when I will click on section, there will be a window of ZWCAD, a new window of ZWCAD that opens. Okay, for the first time, it will take a few seconds, but next time you will see that it doesn't take more than two seconds. Okay. So on the screen, we got nothing, but we have here two tables. This is a table with manhole details. As you can see, here we will design our line. In this table on the left, we will have the ground level, the existing ground level and also design. Okay. When I will press apply, I will get here in the ground level, the software will uh, will will take will scan the ground level along the pipe and load it over here in this table. So let's press apply. Okay. So what what can I see here? Here I have the ground level, the existing ground level. Station zero is here. The elevation is 37 to 50, okay? Then this is the ground level along the pipe, pipeline one, okay? You can see on the right, on the right, you can see the pipeline and the type, switch pipeline one, okay? So each uh, uh, difference when uh, that I have in the, in the ground level will be mentioned in the table. So after five meters and 35 centimeters, I have a change in the elevation. It's over here, et cetera, et cetera, till the end, okay? Till the 500 meters, which is the total range of the pipe. So why is it so important to have it over here? Because if I get something that is abnormal in the ground level, that I see that I have a, for example, jump over here, and I want to fix it, I can fix it in the table. I don't have to go back to the surveyor to tell him that his uh, measurement wasn't good and he have to, uh, to correct it. I don't have to correct it myself in the surface. I can just do it here, okay? Two clicks and I fix it. So this is for the ground level. For the existing ground level, I will click here and go to design. So over here, I don't have design ground level because I didn't uh, load points and surface for the de design, but if I, uh, if I uh, create a surface, design surface, so I can get it also over here. I can also design myself the uh, design ground level, which means if, for example, I know that this is a, an area I, I, I want, I know the elevations, I can click here in station zero, put the elevation of 35, okay? Then 
after uh, 100 meters go to 36 let's say let's uh, let's put it that way let's say that this is the ground level i can in i can insert it myself and press apply when i'll press apply look in the green line i can see this is the ground design ground level so two ways how to insert the design ground level first one if i have it over here if i design surface design surface here coordinates i can insert here uh, i can load here a point file of a design surface i can create contours of a design surface it's the second surface that I, I load here to the software. Then when I get the second surface here, when I will go to pipe section, okay, I will go to design and press here, get design data. And when I will press here, the design data along the pipe will come up here in the table. This is the first way how to do it. Second way how to do it, uh myself I, I can do it myself and insert elevations to the table okay this is what i've did uh, i've done right now so let's clear it uh, one thing that i i I, uh, I have to mention when i will insert design data depth over here will will be calculated will be calculated uh, from the design surface, okay? So normally it, the depth of the manhole will, design, will uh, calculate from ground level, existing ground level, but if I have design ground level, it will calculate from the design ground level, okay? So I will erase it for now. Okay, changing back and press apply. Okay, so as you uh, understood, I make a change here and press apply. Okay, so every time that I I've I've uh, I've uh, uh, done any change in the tables, I will press apply. Then I will see it in the table in the drawing okay what else can we see over here no pipe yet because we didn't design the pipe we only see the ground level here we can see the line that crosses our line okay the invert level is 35 the station is 113 okay and this is the second the second uh pipe that connects okay pipe number one number two here we will see the invert level we can see it yet we'll see the slope also the diameter that we all we already have okay and material we'll see ground level station distance and manholes okay course this is uh, very important to see how to how the the view comes up okay we can change it in the on the right you can see view high 100 and length 1 to 1000 so i can change it and you can change it however you want okay questions please for now someone have a question you can also uh, ask uh, in the chat yes may i ask uh, for hebrew again please yeah 
יש אפשרות או אין? תתרגם okay. בבקשה. אוקיי, okay. so the question was, uh, if someone needs the uh, depth to be calculated from the design ground level, also from the existing ground level. If it's, uh, if it's uh, available in the software. So in this version, uh, the default is that it will calculate from the existing level. And if we have design level, so it will calculate from the design. In the next version, we are working on it. We will allow the uh, user to design by multi-surfaces. So you will, you will be able to insert three or four or five surfaces as you want, and also to refer the uh, manhole's depth from uh, which surface that uh, you want, okay? So this is for the next uh, version that we will we will come up with, uh, I think, in January. Okay, it will take some time, but uh, for now, it is not available here. Okay, so let's start. I uh, There are many ways, many uh, engineers, and each one do it in uh, his own way, but I saw engineers that the are doing this way and I think this is uh, the uh, easiest way to start here. I will just put in the column of this depth. I will put for example one and a half. Okay so I mark the whole column and just on the keyboard with 1.5. Then I will press apply. What is happening now? In each line, each line is a manhole, of course. So the first one will be in depth of one meter and a half. Also for the second one, this one, and for all lines. You can see here the diameter is changed, okay? Because it was first on 200 then 300s, so it changed, okay? And also you can see slopes calculated automatically along the uh, the pipe. You can see it over here also. And over here, okay? The length and the slope. What else can we see? Let's add a drop. Okay, let's say that over here I want to add a drop. So this is manhole 1.3. It's here, and I want to add a drop of minus 20 centimeters. Press apply, and okay, let's uh, let's uh, put something more visible. Let's put it one meter. Okay. M minus one meter, of course. Okay. A drop of one meter. Okay. So this is the first part of the design, but we have also other options. For example, wall thickness. We want to change the wall thickness to be 10 centimeters, five centimeters, seven, as much as we want. We can add here. Also, we can insert material. For example, PVC. When I press apply, okay, it will take PVC for for all for all pipes. If I if uh, if I put PVC on the first one, so it will apply for the for the next ones, unless I'm changing it over here. Let's uh, put con concrete, for example, then, okay, PVC and concrete, okay? Let's uh, change it to back to PVC, okay? What else? Uh, pop. If I want the manhole 
to pop uh, above ground level. I can add here 30 centimeters. Okay, press apply. Press. It's in centimeters, okay. Okay, centimeters. Pop will, will be calculated by centimeters. You can control it on the unit control on pipeline list, okay? So for now it's on centimeters, 30 centimeters above ground level, okay? One more thing, you can add a, a manhole size over here, but you can also design automatically over here. Here you have a button named size, okay? Pressing on it and this cal calculate automatically according to the depths, okay? How do we change it? If you want to change, go to options and go to manhole size table. And here you can set for yourself what is uh, the, the manhole size that you want according to the depth you have. You change it here and press OK. OK, then you can change, you can click on it and it will be calculated automatically. Of course, you can you can put it uh, yourself. OK, it is changeable, of course. OK, but if you want it to be calculated automatically according to the instruction that you have, so you can change it in manhole size table, as I mentioned, okay? One more uh, uh, thing on this, on this uh, screen before we will, uh, we will uh, proceed to the options uh, button. Here we have, and calculate drop automatically according to the slope, okay? So for example, if I want the, uh, the uh, pipe to be calculated with a drop that will, for example, I have the, here a manhole with the big diameter, large diameter. So I want the slope to be uh, calculated automatically uh, as a continuation of the first pipe. I will press here and it will ask me if I want to overwrite. I will say yes. And then look, I've got here a drop that will put this one, this segment, a little bit down so it will be a, a continuation for the first one let's press apply Up. and i've got it here okay one more thing if i want to change depth so of course i can change depth over here i can change invert level over here in this column but I can also design it on the drawing environment. So in AutoCAD or ZWCAD, I can take the white line. I will press here, go to auto mode, okay? Because I want to change only uh, the height of the manhole, not horizontally changes, only vertical. And now I'm free to change it. I will take it down a little bit. I will take this one down a little bit, maybe. This one also. Maybe I want to change it to be that way. Great. I will go to keep fix invert level and press apply and it changed according to the line that I designed, okay? So changes can be 
done also here in the drawing environment and also here in the table. This uh, two options, fix slope and fix invert level, is very important, are very important to uh, control the last uh, segments of the of the pipe. What do I mean? If I want to change this vertex, okay, I will go, I will take it a little bit higher, okay? So now we have a question. What is happening for the next segment? There are two options. First one, I want to change only this one, okay? Only this one. The rest of it, okay, the rest of it will keep the same inter invert level as it exists right now, okay? So this is the first option. Second option, if I will took it, if, if I if I took it a little bit higher, so the whole pipe, the rest of it in the uh, left, we will take the same height and go above. So the slopes will be safe. Okay, so if I will go to keep slope, okay, keep slope, the whole pipe will go high along with this one. Okay, press apply. Okay, the whole pipe changed. But if I'm, I, I will press on, on keep invert level, keep invert level. So only this, only this one will get down and the rest of it will stay as it is, okay? See? The rest of it stood as it was. Okay. One more thing. We have here an option to add sleeves, okay? Sleeves are very useful when we want to uh, to uh, uh, to put a pipe under a, a road, usually, or other options, other uh, circumstances. So I will press sleeves, and he asks me, from where to where? So from zero to station of 50, Let's put a, diam a, a sleeve diameter of 250. Okay, let's press okay, and then apply. And look here, I have a sleeve from zero to 50. Okay, I can add more sleeves. Okay, if I want for this part, I can add, go to the table of sleeves, add sleeves with thickness with material and press ok and apply when i press apply i just will have it here in on the drawing okay questions so far please this is the time Anyone have any question? Okay. So I will go to options. Options here. I have first the design grid caption. Okay. What is referring to? This is for this table. Okay. So here I have invert level, slope, diameter, type, wall thickness, etc. But if in your country you called it otherwise and you have to 
produce plans in other language or in other other terms you can change them okay for example i will go here and in, instead of slope i can call it otherwise okay instead of uh, distance i can put i don't know let's for example put x x x okay and press apply and we have x x x instead of distance okay i remind you that if you have this uh, method of work and you want it to be saved for all your projects okay you just have to go to pro prototype project and uh, change it over there when we change it in prototype project it will apply it for all your next project okay this time it's okay one more thing materials table okay you can add here materials and it will be shown here okay slope calculations okay so this is very useful and very uh, important to understand what is the slope calculations so slope can be calculated from the center of the manhole and also from edges of the manhole so if you want the software to calculate the slopes from here from the edges of the of the manhole edges to edge to a to an edge okay this is one calculation one option to calculate and the default one is from the center of the manhole okay it's important minimum manholes cover okay so here we have 40 centimeters let let's show you if i here i put here the depth for example 30 centimeters okay no not 30 meters 30 centimeters okay look what do i get here this is a warning that tells me look you have less than 40 centimeters to the ground you have to change it. This 40 uh, centimeters definition can be changed over here. Okay? Minimum cover, you can change it to 50, to 1 meter, as you want. Okay? Okay. Slopes precision. Also, uh, what do we want how do we want the slopes to be shown let's take it down back to 60 okay so this is and let's also take this one down a little bit and press apply so this will be more logical okay this one also should be one ah it's not enough because i have wall sickness so not yet this one should be enough wait okay so this is for the first line i will press apply and cancel and, and close and i will go back to the layout now i want to see the the data along the pipe so i will go back to pipelines layout and press apply 
and well, when I will press apply, I will get the whole information about manholes, invert levels, size, and everything on a block over here. Okay. Slopes also over here. Length, diameter. All information I've got here. I can get it at block. Okay. But also, if we'll go to options, I can click on standard mode and OK and apply. And it will become that way. Okay. On sides of the pipe of the manholes. Okay. Example. Okay. Instead of block. Okay. This is. This is uh, the designing part of the sections. Okay, questions so far, please. Can you move the label? Okay, the label of uh, of the block is uh, immovable as a AutoCAD AutoCAD uh, entity. Okay. Can I add an existing networks? Which uh, which uh, existing network you want to add? Wahid or Nastal? We have uh, someone here that asks about existing networks. Can you explain your question, please? Okay, we will wait for you. Of course, if you mean about uh, cross uh, existing uh, uh, infrastructure that crosses, for example, I will show you how in the next uh, uh, hour you have, we will see how to do it, okay? No problem. How can I add sleeves option to section? Olga, did you get an answer for that? Can I ask uh, in Hebrew? Yes, of course. אם אני רוצה לראות בחתכים את השרוול, פרטים של השרוול, את הקוטר שלו, המטריאלס שלו, איך אני יכולה לעשות את זה? יש אפשרות כזה? You can see it on the report. Okay? You can see it on the report. Uh, it's a good thing that you mention it. Uh, we will add it to the, to the drawing also. Good thing that you mention it. Okay. Nadiam, you want to cancel a line? Okay. We don't. We do not control. We don't uh, allow the user to control the the uh, order or the existing of lines in the table only the uh, names caption this is also a requirement that we got from other clients and in uh, development okay so we will stop here for this uh, for this lesson and in a, in 10 minutes okay in 10 minutes we will proceed from where we stopped okay in for crossing fox uh, crossings uh, uh, lines okay infrastructure the crosses uh, layout okay so uh, we will meet here at 12 and 10 minutes okay so stay with us and if you have questions 
you can, of course, write it on the chat and we will answer. Okay, great. So, what uh, we will learn this session is crossings, then reports, then we'll work a little bit with BIM. So, crossings. Let's take, for example, line number two. Line number two, we have Let's design a, a line, electricity line, okay? Let's say it's, it's not electricity, let's say um, it's a water supply line, okay? And also let's design on a new layer. Let's create gas lines. Okay. And set current. So we will have designing by poly line one line here and one line over here, okay? And also we will have one water supply line over here, okay? We'll go to layout, define the water supply, press select and click on it, so and press apply. So this is a water supply line. And those two are gas lines or other infrastructure that exists on our uh, area. Okay. So how do I get this crossings line on the section? Okay. So let's go to section pipe number two. Okay, what can I see here in pipe number two? Let's press apply. Let's load it here. So I can get here the first crossing, which is the main pipe. Okay, but let's design here um, also. This should be phase four. Okay. Oh. Yes, I didn't get the uh, the ground level. So yes, and get topo. No, let's go to pipeline layout. Switch right. Okay. Okay. Now it will be all. Okay, we'll go back to section, take, and press here. Okay. So I have the pipeline here. Let's uh, add diameter of 300, okay, and size of as it should be automatically. Okay, great. Now I have the first, the main pipe that connects to the line number two. So I get it here. You can see the depths over here. So of course I have to to take the this pipe down or elevate the other one. But I can I will go also to pipe crossings and line number two. Then I will tell the software, this is the first one as you see in station zero, this one, this is the first crossing. 
Here will appear the list of costings. So I will press select and take this one. Okay. And now I have in station 34, in invert level that I don't know yet because I didn't design the uh, water supply line and diameter that I also didn't add, but I can add it over here. And this is the layer type, okay? So this is one way how to do it, to insert it over here, then press close and go to pipeline section. And when I will press apply, okay, I will see it over here. Okay, see you water with the station, with the invert level. I can see the mark over here and the distance from the closest manhole. Okay, this is one way how to do it. I want to show you one more uh, way how to do it. Um, before I will do it, I just want to show you one more thing. If I'm going to this water supply line and I will change, change his location, okay? So let's take it and move it over here. So of course, when I will press apply, the the point of uh, okay, this is referred to the crossing. Okay, I didn't do it. Let's press apply again. The correct. Okay, so the crossing moved. Okay, the crossing point. So when I will press update crossing. So the label also will change. I will go to crossings. As you can see here in number two, I have 34, but if I will click over here, update crossing, and I press update all, so it's changed. Okay, 37. Why? Because I've changed location of the water supply line uh, location okay then i'll press okay i will go to layout and i will refresh it okay and also we will go to section to line number two Okay, discovering for me. Okay. Let's reopen it. Okay. And I have it here. Look, the location changed. Okay, it was 15. Then it changed to be 8 meters. Okay. So this is one way how to do it. I will close it. And let's talk about second way. Okay. Pipeline crossings. I will press over here, this button, filtering, okay? Now I will press select and I will choose the this line, this gas line, okay? And press enter. So software 
locate this line, locate the layer, which called gas, okay? And when I will press apply, the software will scan all uh, lines of this layer, of gas layer, that crosses the line number two, okay? Press apply, it should be two more, okay? So I press apply and you can see over here in 12 meters, one of gas and also in 50 meters, gas, okay? Let's say that the depth of them is, I can, I can, uh, I can put the invert level, but also I can put the depth of, of uh, the gas line. So I can press here and change it to depth and then put it maybe one and a half meters, okay? For example. Okay, then I will close it. Go to pipeline section. And I will see it over here. It is the invert level, okay? One and a half meters. And the distance between the crossing line and the manhole. Of course, if I have uh, the diameter, okay, I can add it over here. Okay, maybe 50 or, or less, I don't know. Okay, and I will get it here in sections. Okay. Look, 50, okay. So two ways how to do it. Or I select the line that crosses the uh, pipe or I can scan the whole uh, layer and it all will appear on the section. Let's see a question a little bit. Could you please repeat the first way? Okay, the first way how to do it is to select a line, okay? I can design a pipeline in the list, okay? I can add it over here and then press go to crossings and select the line, okay? Like I did here, okay? This one, CU Water, was a line that I designed with Civil Cut. Then I pressed select and select it. Then it loaded here. The other way to do it, or one more way to do it, is to select the specific lines that I want to be uh, mentioned as crossing lines, okay? And I can say third way how to do it, to scan the whole layer, okay? Let's see, I can also locate, if I go to, I this one and press here zoom to crossing and it will tell me where is the crossing okay so if i have many crossings lines and i want to locate one i can refer to one of the crossings lines and press here zoom to crossing points and it will come here okay more questions Lama B Hatak Shell Mayim water Atsutsud uh Hasarim Mirhakin distance beto hatah. Ima ima tatah zor le hatah mayim a yes. distance yeah has... I have here I have here line it exists here okay because this one is very short this one is very short so I don't have oh I have crossing here. Yeah, crossing. I have here the the twenty meters. Yes. Also, I have here X Y. What are you search, search, searching for? 
תראה חתך מים הזה, שחוצה פייפ שתיים, זה חתך. תחזור לחתך, ויהיה חסר דיסטנס בין ביוב לקצה. Yes, הנה. במים, במים, לא בביוב. Mm-hmm. חתך שלו, חתך שלו. Ah, I didn't design this one yet. This one? Yes. Doesn't have, I didn't design the profile of it, the section. Okay? If you want to talk about water supply line, when I get this screen, I will go to options. Okay? Options. Then I have to set how to uh, divide the pipe. Every IP or every 20 meters. Let's say every IP, okay, and press OK. Mm-hmm. So I don't have many IPs, only one, okay. And then I press apply, and I, I get the design ground, uh, existing ground level. And also I have it, I have this one. Okay. Of course, I have to go to crossings. Yeah. to go to the water supply line okay okay, okay. then select me you have to select close and go to section, section. you in okay. any distance and distance when the crossing okay. Plays. okay I saw it okay okay saw it We, we want to improve ourselves okay and we want to learn how to do it okay so I have here the diameter I have invert level okay I have layer look Add diameter. Okay. Here, because we don't have manholes, so we don't have a Ella. Yeah. Please do not write on our screen. Okay, because we don't have manholes, so we don't have the distance. This is not a manhole, okay? This is IP. Okay, so anyone have another question about uh, pipe designing before I go to reports? Okay, so reports. We go to reports, pipelines reports, and here I can choose the pipe type that I want to produce the report for it. Also, select the kind of the report that I want. So I want quantities, I want the pipes, I want it to be detailed. Okay, let's go to pipes, swage, and press apply. And now we'll have a report. with diameters and length of the pipes that I want to order. I can export it to Excel, I can save it, I can print it. If I go to details and I take maybe uh, first two, okay? So here I have manhole, station, distance, okay? Sizes, material, and the whole report, everything you want, to execute this plan, okay? Manholes, same way. I have here X, Y, Z, invert level, depth, diameters, everything. Quantities, 
this was this one is important according to the depth i have the uh, pipes and manholes of course sleeves also and if i want to change the depth segments okay i can change it over here okay so this is for reports let's see Olga, uh, I saw your question. Uh, I will have to uh, get into your computer and see it together. It's a very specific uh, question. So let's see it uh, after. Okay. 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 Thank you. So this is uh, for reports and uh, crossings. And the next step will be working a little bit with a uh, beam. So uh, before I move to uh, working with Beam. Anyone want to ask something? Okay. So, a few words about Beam. What is Beam? Uh, Beam is a method of work uh, that uh, allowed planners and designers from uh, various. various uh, 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 planning uh, fields to take their plans and to uh, build a model, combined model for all of them, and to see it with the 3D, okay? From each discipline come the planner and uh, put his, his plan to this model and one of, of course, one of the planners is the infrastructure. So uh, each one of you might use this uh, method of work. It's very strong here in the market right now. So there are two, uh, two uh, uh, files that we want to export from our plan. The first one is the surface which we will export it in uh, XML file. And second one is IFC file, okay, for the pipes. Both files will be uploaded to a Beam uh, software. Can be Beam, Beam Vision or Infoworks or other uh, Beam uh, software that exists on the market. So I will just show you how to do it. So I will go to file, press collaborate, and export surface to LendXML. When I will click on it, it will just ask me to save this one. So I will call it surface and press save now when i will go to for example infoworks as a surveyor or as a pipe designer okay i will open infoworks create a project This might take a few seconds. Okay, let's create a new new uh, project name Surface. Okay.
let's work local, Israeli grid, okay. And we create a new model. Let's load the surface to this model. Okay, let's add here. The land XML file. this surface file we've added it let's configure with Israeli grid and okay so here the surface okay the surface as you saw came from civil CAD Okay, we designed it. We designed with coordinates, contours. We created the XML file, and now we have applied it here to to uh, one of the Beam software that very common on the market called InfoWorks. Okay, so this is the surface. Okay. So it is, it is very useful for surveyors and also for us as the pipes designers, okay? This is the surface. Next, I will show you the uh, pipes. Uh, I will just show an example here of another surface and pipes. Uh, a network that uh, we designed okay so let's open it it's a very heavy software so it take takes a few seconds Let's give it uh, some time to open. A few seconds. And meanwhile, let's produce the IFC for those pipes. Okay, so let's go to File, Collaborate, Export to IFC. This is for the pipes. Okay. So I have here the tree. Of, uh, of pipes, lines that I design. So let's not bring the surface. Uh, let's take the pipes without net, without the water supplies, and also without the servant that I didn't design. And let's press export. Then I will export it to pipes. Pipes. Okay. Great. 
let's open it with uh, another uh, Beam software. Okay, so this is this is our file. Let's open it with Beam Vision, for example. Okay, so what do we get here? This is the pipe, manholes, okay. If I will click on the pipe, so we'll get here the material, the pipe length, okay. The slope, the diameter. Of course, I get the location, top level, bottom elevation, X, Y, Z of the pipe, beginning of the pipe, okay? And as much, uh, the same for the manhole itself, okay? The top level, okay, the X, Y, Z, properties, okay? Heights and everything else, okay? Invert level, very important. Size, station. So everything everything exists here. Okay, let's see if it opens already. Okay, here what we can see, it's uh, another uh, model of, of a surface that we designed. Okay, here you can see also the pipes. Okay. You just have to adjust heights, okay? But as you can see, we have the pipes networks, very large one in this project, and also the XML, the uh, surface looks fantastic, okay? So it's a very powerful tool. Uh, the market goes over there. Market goes to working with BIM method, as you all know. So we are on the front uh, also in this field. Okay. So yes, uh, I've shown you the, the here in the in in the uh, infoworks the project with both XML and pipes. Also, we can do it over here in Beam Vision. If we will export with the surface, okay, let's try to do it. Surface with pipes, okay. Let's try to open it. My, it should work, of course. In Beam Vision. Okay, so this is the surface. Okay, and the pipes are over here. You can see it here. Okay, so here you can see the top level of the pipe. Okay, and it goes over there so you will see it over here okay so very powerful uh, tool to look at the plan you can also uh, uh, see it without the surface only pipes in beam vision okay so I highly recommend you to download this uh, software, Beam Vision, which is uh, for free. Okay, I will put the link to it also. So we, we, uh, you will be able to uh, experiment yourself. The Infoworks is not a uh, free software, of course, very expensive one. So if you want just to experience, I will put the uh, link to Beam Vision. Uh, 
when we will publish the recording of this session. So I will put, put there also a link to uh, download BeamVision or you can search it yourself uh, on the internet. BeamVision, very powerful uh, tool, a good solution to see, to view your design in a uh, 3D and to uh, to view it in beam uh, beam uh, method. Okay. More questions about this, about the beam, about uh, civil card. This is the time before uh, we finish this session. So let's look into the chat. Hi, um, I have a question. If I want yes. to change the color of the pipe, where uh, can I do it? Where, where, what do you want to change exactly? Color. Color. Color? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for the color, let's go to, you mean in the section or here in the layout? Uh, layout. Layout. So by default, by default, in layer properties, you get, let's close it, and this one also. So by default, uh, sewage will be red, drainage will be green, okay, green, this one, and water supply is blue. But if you want to change it, so if you want to do it only one time for one project, of course, you can change it here in the layer properties. But if you want to change it uh, for uh, for the rest of your project from now on, so you can go to my documents, okay? Go to folder civil CAD, then go to uh, codes, think yes codes and there is a file names main point dwt okay this file okay this file contains the layers and colors so if you open it open this dwt in autocad okay let's open it in autocad Let's talk a little bit about uh, about CAD standards. Okay. Autodesk uh, softwares are heavy. Okay, so here this is this is uh, main DWT. Okay. Of this one didn't open yet. Open. Go to my documents, civil card, and codes. Main DWT. Not in templates. Codes main DWT. Let's open it. Okay. This is main DWT. And when I will open the layer properties, here I can make any change that I want. Okay. So if you want to change water supply to be a, another color, you change it here. Okay. Press OK. Close, save changes, of course. And from now on, from now on, all uh, projects will be in uh, these settings that you set. Also, you can change a uh, layer's name, okay? If you want the layer's name to be different, you can change layer names, but also you have to change it here in file, layer control, okay? You have to change name also here, OK? 
okay? Instead of um, surface, CG topo surface, you want just to call it surface. So you change it here, CG topo surface. You change here and also go to main DWT, take the layer of CG topo surface and change it to the same name as it is in layer control. So both changes should be uh, identical, okay? Okay, then, thank you. Um, but uh, if I need to change uh, uh, in the sections, where is it? Okay, so for the section, for the section, you will go to the same place, Civil CAD 10.3. Here you have, here you have file names, names per edit. Let's look for it. WG should be DWT. Maybe in codes. Main DWT, no. Okay, can't find it. Very strange. WG, WG. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't exist here because I have uh, I have uh, the software uh, opens, I think. But if I will close the software, you have your uh, file name ver edit point DWT, okay? And in this, uh, uh, in this uh, file, you can change, you can change colors for the section, okay? Okay, thank you. And also, okay, one more thing, you have to know that in section, you can, you can um, go to another layer, okay, to cr create another layer and uh, add some more more uh, notes, and it will remain for this section, okay. So it doesn't will uh, it will not erase when you when you change uh, pipes, okay. So just create a new layer. You can put some remarks. And then uh, it will save in here in the, in the section, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, and yes. uh, can you tell uh, contact information? Uh, Again, please. Can I tell what? Contact information telephone. Uh -huh. or... Contact information. So run. Um, Let's look into the chat. Ran will put here the uh, contact information, but you also can uh, contact us through uh, through uh, our website and also by mail. Okay, I will put here I will, our mail. Sales, okay. Strudel, uh, Sivan. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so you can contact us. Also contact uh, Run by phone. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for learning with us. We'll be able to see the recording of this in uh, our uh, website and our channel. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with me. And uh, 
we'll see you in the, our next uh, webinars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.